15 of the Muppet Monster Adventure Let's Play. We are going to be finishing Madness Marsh in this episode here with the Blues Bayou and we will be doing the boss fight here. So, yes, please do the honors and tell us what we are collecting here. Well, thank you, thank you. Uh, today's fantabulous episode, we will be collecting 550 stars. Wow, we! And uh, seven crazy Kermit cookies. We're giving us a total of 87 Kermit cookies back at you. Let's do this. Let's do it. So you can see the uh, bump up in collectibles from uh, 520 the last episode to 550. You know how excited that makes me not feel? <laughs> <laughs> you, you ready for this, man? <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. I'm ready to take a nap yeah. after this. <laughs> oh, hey, it looks like every other level. Man. I like the the giant gem. Yeah. It, it, this would probably be one of my favorite levels in the game because I like the bayou setting, man. I, I dig it. <laughs> there are a bunch of rednecks. A bunch of rednecks. You got... Uh, these, well, there are rednecks. What? Look at the guy on the boat? Dude. Do you know who that reminds me? <laughs> who? Reminds me of Cletus. Cletus. Or Clyde. Oh, he throws <laughs> Was it... It was two different Clydes, right? Yeah. Break stuff gang. One shout, is... You know, shout out, man. You want to tell the audience about what we This is the second about. shout out. We, yeah, I've episode. done it one time. Just they break stuff. And they're a gang. And, and they're but like, not a real gang. But they're, they're like hillbilly, yeah. Uh, yeah, they're not... <laughs> yeah. I don't think they're actually like that, but... But they just act like that. They boot stomp stuff. It's... It's right. dumb, but... but it's some of the funniest... <laughs> Like, it's like the most... <laughs> it's not that it's funny because they're breaking stuff. It's more funny just because... They act like, yeah, you know, Like they're pumpkins, you know, or something like that. It's just... <laughs> yeah, country pumpkins. Country pumpkins. Whoa. That dynamite looked like a Kit Kat bar. <laughs> Look at him. He looks like Bert. <laughs> he does. Um, you ever looked at like Bert's like eyebrow line? It's oh, so yeah. strong. Yeah. Frank Oz did Bert. Frank Oz did? There you go, it's another Frank Oz thing. That's call that's a callback to a few episodes ago. Where I and I have stated in several episodes, Frank Oz is better. Not because of just not just because of, you know, Yoda. Which I I personally Personally, I think Yoda was one of his weaker puppets. That's my that's my opinion. opinion. Uh, but he knew how to definitely be a puppeteer. Yeah. Also, just from a directorial standpoint, he is he is as funny as like the Monty Python people. Like I, I yeah. uh, two nights ago I watched Death at the Funeral. The yeah. original. Yeah. That is a hilarious movie. It is really funny. It's a really funny movie. Wait, the S? Yeah, it's kind of weird, man. It's kind of out of order here. That, that movie is beyond funny. I think that was the, the remake. Mm-hmm. Which... We don't talk about the remake. talk about the remake. There's nothing wrong with the remake. This is not good. I know. I will give it the, the dude who played... The, the boyfriend who gets high. Yeah. I did enjoy him in the remake as well. But he's played by Alan... A Adam Tudyk. Alan Tudyk. Is it Adam? Alan. The guy who was in, like, Tucker and Dale vs. Evil. Oh, yeah, that guy. I can't um. remember if it's Adam or Alan. <laughs> That's really bothering me. Yeah. Oh, what? yeah. What is that? Just, yeah, just look how fast this guy walks up on you to this alligator. <laughs> what is his face? Yeah. <laughs> Looks like my dog buttons. <laughs> oh man. Buttons. How's, how's Schmutz doing? She's good. Yeah, my dog is crazy, uh, guys. If you're watching this. That's, that's an understatement. An understatement. I haven't seen Schmutz in forever. Oh. Dude, he was Ooh. on it. He was like, we have a frog laser and night boy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Seriously. What the hell? <laughs> we ain't good in that, boy. Yeah. 
We gotta get that Cajun accent going on. <laughs> that Cajun accent. Louisiana Fast, boy. <laughs> you know what that's from? What was that from? Louisiana Fast. Hmm. It's Popeyes. Oh, okay. You ever had Popeyes chicken? I, I had not too long ago, actually. It's really good. I love it, man. It's nice and spicy. Dude, little Nicky, he's like, Popeye's chicken. <laughs> Popeye's chicken's the shiznit. <laughs> if you're going by the radio, or the radio. The radio. <laughs> and this just in, Popeye's chicken is the shiznit. <laughs> WLCA. <not> gonna, yeah. <laughs> I just received an urgent message. Popeye's chicken's the shiznit. <laughs> You know, Ron Burgundy? No. It's the TV edit when he says shiznit. Yeah. <clears throat> Popeye's chicken's the shit. <laughs> Dude, what do you think about TV edits though in some movies, man? <laughs> Dude, there's been, there's been some garbage ones. Like Death at a Funeral. I watch it on, on TV. <laughs> um, oh, the... the <clears throat> like... Shaun of the Dead, Hot Fuzz, and stuff like that. Yeah. They record the scene twice, like the scenes twice, and they, like, for the F word, they say funk. Funk. And, like, the whole scene is done with the word funk, and it's great. Man. Yeah. And for Jesus Christ, it's peas and rice. Peas and rice? Peas and rice! Do you like the Breakfast Club? is hilarious, too, when they do, like, TV and it's all. Oh I'm so glad I have a DVD of the Breakfast it's Club. It's so funny. What oh is like? Give me like an example. Like, <laughs> they just say stuff like "You are such a like a duty head" or something. It's no. yeah, it's so no. it, it's that butcher dude. It's so bad. It's like they say it really dumb. Like you're a big dummy and stuff, stuff like that. It's so. And what's even worse is like you can tell it's not the same actor. Like you know, it's something totally different. Yeah, like like yeah. Judd Nelson knows like eat. My shorts. Yeah. And the voice is always like, eh. like yeah. it's it's always like, dude. Have you ever seen like a TV out of, of like, of, of like like, I'm trying to think of like Terminator Two, right? Uh -huh. When Arnie says like a swear word, it's like a voice of it's obviously somebody impersonating him. Yeah. Yeah. And it's just so bad. Easily, like you can just tell. Like it's yeah. it's especially if it's an actor that has like a distinct voice. Yeah. It's like, you know, Judd Nelson kinda has a pretty distinct voice. What are your thoughts on the Breakfast Club? I love it, man. I love Would it. Would you say best John Hughes movie? Not my favorite. Mm. Not my favorite. Ooh, got that hot ticket. Hot well, ticket conversation. Is it your favorite? Though? No. No. Which one is your fave? <clears throat> fave John Hughes, man. I would say Uncle B. Yeah, I I can see that too. Um, I can tell you a movie that I enjoy that I learned wasn't a John Hughes movie that I thought was Saint Elmo's Fire. Yeah, Saint Elmo's Fire. I always thought that was a John Hughes movie, but it was actually horrible about uh, Dutch. <clears throat> Is Dutch John Hughes? Yeah. Then I would say Dutch all the yeah. way. <laughs> yes. I was actually thinking about that not too long ago. Because I've been watching Married with Children. Yeah. That's been like my go-to show for late nights. Dude, that movie, so many people don't know about Dutch, man. That movie is... So good. It's also got the the kid from Vegas Vacation. Yeah, yeah. Dude, speaking of him, I, I think I told you about it. Uh... It's a movie called Hard Candy. Or Devil's Candy. I'm sorry, yeah. Devil's Hard Candy. Hard Candy's messed up. Hard Candy's yeah. messed up. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, whoops. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good movie, though. It is good, yeah. But there's some really crunchy parts in that movie. We don't need to talk about that. Let's let's not talk about no, that video. I no. don't wanna I don't wanna get this video taken down. Right. But uh Devil's Candy. Uh, do you like kinda like artsy horror movies? Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, have you seen Devil's Candy? No, no. It's got the guy who, he, from like Vegas Vacation, he, he's the he's dad, and then he's got his girlfriend and or wife. I don't know if they're married, but they have a kid. Uh huh. And he's an artist, and it's like a it's like a horror movie that's based around like heavy metal. Oh. And it like usually I'm not like big into. Like, if I'm going to watch a horror movie, mm. I'm going to watch, you know, a classic horror monster. You know, like, I'm going to... I'm going to watch... 
Nightmare or Friday the 13th or Child's Play. I'm going to watch something that is... Yeah. It's not necessarily in my wheelhouse, but I'm going to watch it. Dude, he, he, he got you. He's beefing me here. <laughs> I'm going to watch something that is a horror, but I'm telling you, Devil's Candy probably... It's not really like a, like a scary horror movie, but it's probably my favorite horror movie. Because it's labeled a horror movie. It's kind of like Tucker Nail vs. Evil. Right. It's labeled a horror movie, but it's absolutely not. So you say it's your favorite, though, like for a horror I, I, I'm comfortable saying that. Nice. It was on Netflix, man. I'm, like, I would say it's like the perfect host of horror movies. Oh, okay. Oh, boy, look who it is. It's Frank Rizzo! <laughs> Bam! <laughs> Man, yo, what's up? I got that Gumby ghost. <laughs> what does that even mean? I, I who knows? Who knows? I don't think we need another episode where <laughs> we spend the whole episode talking about turkey boys. boys. I think every, the audience is worse than us in the last video. <laughs> Still though, Frank Rizzo. Ooh. Unbelievable. You look like you have enough Muppet tokens to open a new Muppet Monster boss. Okay. Oh boy. He sounds like some Bruce Campbell nonsense. <laughs> it's what you said about those one hunters like way back. They had the same chin. In the same chin. They're all like, their chins are so big. We got crimson chins, man. Oh, speaking of crimson chin, I got fairly odd parents over there. What? The, the one with the cupcake? Oh, no, yeah, yeah. You ever for the GameCube? I have for the PS2. I need, I need a PS2, though. <laughs> I got my Slim one, man. It's that Slim. You got, the, you got a Slim? Yeah. You also have a bulk one, don't you? Uh, no, just a Slim. Oh. What am I... I guess I'm thinking of the PS2. Dude, the Slim, that, that's, that's easy transport right there. Oh, yeah. And plus, it's just convenient too, like when you're fit, like fitting it in somewhere. Too. Yeah, like imagine, you know, the space that we have, right. the dollar, you know, <clears throat> it's gonna be a lot easier to. I know we're kind of going behind the scenes, <clears throat> but you know, we got a we got a setup that we got. It's just gonna be easier with a smaller, <laughs> smaller system. Oh yeah. Cause I mean the PS3. Let's be honest. It's no it's no small potato. No. That's that's you missed this stuff. Yeah. It, it's sure. no pea in a pod. The PS3. Yeah, dude. It, it's it's the whole pod. Yeah, it is the whole pod. Like it's it's a same thing can be said about the PS4. But at least the PS4 is squared off. Yeah. You can set stuff on top of it, like you know, like you can put. Obviously, you're not going to put, like, the microphone or the laptop on it, but you can put the case, like, the game case on it. You can put the the capture card, you know? Like, you can oh, put yeah. that stuff on the PS4. And right there, that's that open space right there. Plenty of space. Except the only issue with a slim PS3. Yeah, if you guys could see our setup in here, it's not bad, is it, man? It's, it's not, not bad. It's, it's not just bad. clustered. Yeah, a little clustered. Maybe I'll, I'll work on that. I think there's a mini game with these uh clamps. These clamps. These clamps. You ever had clamps? Uh yes. I don't like shellfish, so I don't need clamps. It's awful shellfish of you to say that. Yeah, see you made that joke <laughs> a few episodes ago. <laughs> uh -huh. And here we are making it again. What, do you eat shellfish? No, not regular. Okay. Then. I don't go out of my way to eat shellfish. <laughs> I, I I prefer fish. Same here. Plus, I don't want to get food poisoning. <laughs> would you eat a worm? A worm? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, if you're in a survival situation, like, would you eat a worm? Or would there be this, like, stigmatism in your brain that wouldn't allow you to eat it? Like, if push came to shove, would you eat the worm? Probably not. Really? You'd rather starve than eat the worm? I know my dad's ate a worm before. Yeah? I've eaten a worm before. <laughs> when I was like a kid? Look who it is, man. At least she's got her hair yeah. up in a nice <laughs> pony this time. <laughs> cannonball. That was a cannonball, man. Dude, cannonball run. <laughs> yeah. Who was in there? Is that Burt Reynolds? Burt Reynolds. 
Speaking of Burt Reynolds, you, have you seen the cast for the new Quentin Tarantino movie? No, not the Once Upon a Time in Hollywood? Was it recently revealed? Like, just... No, I haven't We're seen talking... Uh, Burt Reynolds. No way. Tim Roth. Tim Roth's back? Uh... <clears throat> Kurt Russell. Um... I don't... I didn't see Sam Jackson. No Sam Jackson? Yeah, I mean, that's... No Christoph Waltz? No. But this was this was a pretty. I said I think has Sam Jackson missed a turn? To, oh, I guess he wasn't in Kill Bill. No, he wasn't Kill Bill. He was the piano player in Kill Bill. Yeah. A lot of people, uh, you know, theorists, whatever they're referred to as, people who make theories about movies, they say that <clears throat> Sam Jackson's you know Jules yeah. from Pulp Fiction, because it, it you know the last time we see him. Talking to. Whoa. <laughs> what do you think about that, man? That's great. I'm gonna come back to this area. Okay. I might as well actually get this. Go get the name. Uh, he, he tells, you know, John Travolta that he wants to get out of the life of crime. Mm -hmm. And he wants to just go around the world. So a lot of people theorize that he is the same character just going by a different name so nobody recognizes him. Yeah. Which, I mean, that's one way to look at it. You gonna do that minigame? Or... Oh, yeah, I might want to do that. Yeah, I don't want to come back here now. Right. Later. <laughs> I might want to get that over with. Anyway, but I think he's been... He hasn't missed a Tarantino movie since Pulp Fiction. Yeah, he wasn't in Reservoir Dogs, obviously. No, he he was in Django. Yeah. He wasn't in Inglorious Bastards. Right. So he's missed one since Pulp Fiction, which means he's been in every Tarantino movie. The diamonds were a girl's best friend. <laughs> since Tarantino's second movie. Mm -hmm. That's ridiculous. Yeah, it is pretty ridiculous. So I mean, we gotta collect some pearls now. Why does she need pearls? I, I guess she's going out for a date. Uh, With who? Maybe one. Do of you the have to wait for him to open. No, one of the lumberjacks. You know. Maybe. <laughs> Bruce Campbell? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Oh. Uh, gotta break the clams. The clams. <laughs> the clams! The clams! What do you think of. Uh. What, what is his name? Um. The bot father. Oh, he's great. What is his. Like, what was his name? Because uh, there was like Tony Clamps. Yeah. And then there was like the big guy. And there was the head guy. <laughs> and there were the robot mafia. Where to go, okay? Oh. Uh, hey, you give him the mafia token, okay? Wait, I think. Well, you agree, yeah, you and I agree that Futurama is just the more. It's a better show than The Simpsons, hands down. Yeah. I'm sure a lot of people would disagree with us, but Futurama... <laughs> which one's still on? <laughs> and which one yeah. was cancelled twice? Yeah. <laughs> There's your answer. Why'd you, why'd you glide out in the water? Oh yeah, what's up? Uh... You need to go back... You need to go back to the minigame lady. Like, and go past... Oh yeah, what, what am I doing? I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> no, you gotta go... What are you doing? Minigame lady, hello? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Are you really <laughs> lost? She's right there. <laughs> Are you really that lost? Yeah, we've been playing this game so much. So I'm like, I mean, you what? What? The, what is that black dot? I don't know. Oh, it's your shadows. Oh, shadows don't work like that no more. No, you guys actually, we've been recording these parts like on a single day. If you guys want to give like, the info on that, like what we've been doing. We arrived at one, like one fifteen. Yeah. And we've been so two, and it's now. Uh, <clears throat> breaking in the real world here. Uh, it's 6.30. So. We've been recording for a long time today. Like four man. and a half hours. Yep. A lot of parts. Pretty much guys. straight with only a half an hour lunch break. <laughs> yeah, we've been, you know. See, looking out for you guys, so make sure we got these parts up on YouTube for you. Keep the entertainment going, so. We can make you guys happy. It's what we want to do, right, man? Well, also, money would be nice. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Yeah, it's 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 all for the for the people who watch. Yeah, and it's fun too. Because without now. the people who watch, you know. Oh, dude, Oops. he got you. 
You beefcake, dude. <laughs> beefcake. <laughs> um, but no, it's fun to do this, and uh, this is definitely looking out for you guys. Because normally, like in the past, we've recorded three episodes a session, you know. Yeah, we do. usually do one set. Mm -hmm. this, this is... I think the most we've done is, is four, and, but this is... This is definitely our newest set. We're, we're yeah. six in? Which, you know, the pros, the pros who do this, they're... That's nothing. I think no. that's it. <laughs> Look at that. And we are done with the Blues Bayou. Moving on to the boss fight, guys. Wow, that's actually the shortest time it's taken us this whole... Man. And that was kind of quick, wasn't it, man? Pretty, yeah. Pretty quick level. That was actually probably my favorite. <laughs> Out of every level we've done, that was probably my favorite one. <laughs> Just because of the layout. Because we were born on a bayou. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> so that's done. Now we're moving on to the boss fight. You in for a shock. Actually, I wasn't. <laughs> so you may want to uh, read this to the uh, audience. Uh, well, back here in Madness Marsh, we're going to be doing the Baride Salon. Still morphed. So, man, what do you think this boss fight's going to be? What's going to be going on? Well, her ability is Karate Chop. So I'm assuming it's going to have something to do with Karate. So you think it's going to really change up the uh, gameplay from the last Absolutely not. No, nope, still moving around whatnot in the usual? Yeah. Right. Dodging some stuff. Here we go, man. Here we go. What the most we... unique one was... was, uh, Werebear. So now we're doing the Bride Slide. Uh... We'll do the Bride Slide. So you have to tell me what you think of uh, Miss Piggy's voice acting here. If it's like the if it's like the movies or shows, yeah. I'm going to hate it. <laughs> Be careful, okay? Ooh, she sounds weird. Be careful, okay? Why does he say okay? Like, why is that his thing? You said you're constantly running. Oh, you'll see. He's telling us, yeah, I gotta. Yeah, but you are not even. Like, well, yeah, let's go. Watch who you're calling a monster. Do you know who does the voice of Miss Piggy? Frank Oz. Oh, well. Steer carefully, okay? I told you, karate. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> to quote the great oh. Paul Simon. The slip sliding away. Yeah, I mean, slip sliding away. Was buddy. that Simon and Garfunkel or just Paul Simon? Maybe it's Paul Simon. <laughs> Do you listen to more, Simon and Garfunkel or just Paul Simon? <laughs> Simon and Garfunkel. Really? <laughs> I found myself to listen to Paul Simon more. Really? I like Simon and Garfunkel a lot, but let's be honest here. If we're going to be honest, which we are always honest with you. Oh, man. Now watch this. Watch this hit, dude. Check this out. <laughs> Why she just stood there? I'll never understand. Did you control that? <laughs> No, it just automatically. It's a penguin. It just automatically does it. <laughs> Look. <laughs> like it wasn't even like a. Oh. It wasn't even like the sound was. Yeah, it was so quiet. <laughs> just... Why are there penguins? Like the question is, why did she stop and stare at me? And, like let me do that. Like for one, like why didn't she keep moving? I'm more concerned about these penguins. Like <sighs> it's too hot for there to be a penguin running around. Wait, look at this. Oh, here we go. <laughs> dude. Oh, the sound. Just, just listen, dude. Hey, look, I'm not controlling this. <laughs> like, there's no theatrics to it. No, and, it's just and like it's like automatically. Yeah, it just it just takes you. Bloop, bloop. Oh, the ice block. That's how ice moves. Oh, there are two penguins pushing it. Okay. <laughs> Penguin pushes. Oh. Oh. oh! oh, we have one life left. You cannot let that. Yeah, you know I think that means we gotta oh, start from no, the no, beginning. No, no, we're good, we're good, we're good. Yeah. What beginning of what? From the. See that? Ah. Oh. So we gotta do it all over again. We but... didn't lose a life though. Hmm. We had one heart left, and now we have three hearts. It didn't lose a life. Oh man, you gotta love that man. That's really. fine. That's fine. I, this is the only boss fight I I will enjoy the reset of. Man. <laughs> so from the other bosses, where would you put this one, man? Like, where would you put this? Top. Is this your, the best one so far? Top. Really? Yeah. Absolutely. It's just the most interesting, man. Hands down. No, it's the worst one. <laughs> but just because of that. Little, just because uh, of that little cutscene. Like the sound, the sound is what is what made it to me. 
when when there is when a sound when a sound does not match the situation that is that is put in, mm. such as a boss fight with a tiny quiet bloop, bloop, right that to me is is <laughs> comedic gold. Like I I love stuff like that. Also, you 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 know. I love hard cuts in videos. Right. In like movies and stuff where it's like like oh I hope blah 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 doesn't happen and then it instantly hard yeah. cuts to that thing happening to that person. So man, what do you think of Miss Piggy's design here? Uh, oh, it's awful. <laughs> like her arms are like yeah. out. <laughs> like look, she she's going to like T-pose. This sounds like the Crimson Chin music. I like this music, though. Yes. <laughs> it's... What are your thoughts on the Crimson Chin? Uh, I like him. Do you prefer Crimson Chin or Chet the Boy Wonder? Uh, Crimson Chin is great. What about, uh. Oh gosh, what was his name? The other one. Uh, you know Crash what? Nebula. Crash Nebula. Crash Nebula. Oh! You remember he was on TV? You remember that? Yes. Yeah. Yes. What was uh, the bad guy from Crimson Chin? It was uh, the bronze kneecap. The bronze kneecap. Or titanium toenail. <laughs> Dude, those other villains. Like, what was up with that? <laughs> and then what was it? What his catchphrase? It was like uh, the bronze kneecap. Don't make me use this. You remember that? Like yeah, he yeah. had like a Swiss Army knife, but it was his kneecap. Was beautiful, oh. Did you say you kicked my ass? Dude, let me check this out. You are Moi's hero, little Robin. You are what? Maui's? Moi. My, like in French. When is she name. French? <sighs> what happened to the Muppets? Remember when the Muppets were all about just shenanigans? So, I mean, that boss fight's your number one right now, man. Oh, just because of that sound. Because of that sound? <laughs> well. So, man, we did it, though. That's the final part that ends Madness Marsh, guys. We did it. But next time, in part 16, we are moving on to the What's a Matterhorn with the Monstery Monastery. It's... <laughs> That's like, that's like, uh, uh, Rocky and Bowling Club. <laughs> What's the matter, you? Oh, oh, man. I'm actually looking forward to this next You're looking forward to, to this, this next, next uh, set. The set, man. It'll be our final set, oh, too, man. It's gonna be, it's gonna be sad. The home stretch, man. It's been a journey, hasn't it, man? It, it's been a journey. Oh, yeah. What's the matter? <laughs> so... All right, that, all right, guys. But until then, guys, it's been real. It's been a blast. We will see you guys in part 16. Until then, take it easy. Peace out.